Hello everybody, I look like to remix this video I produced a couple of years ago back, one of my most viewed videos, but without explanation or with much more details. So I think it's time about to um, create an update of this video using the ad, um, additional video and providing with some um, explanation, some, some captions around the subject. Here I use the one to one B22 um, spark gap um, tubes into my bipolar Tesla coil and the bipolar Tesla coil is an exciting and just plain aluminium foil into a fluorescent bulb and into a capacitor. What I would like to show you here is um, a traditional capacitive coupling of, of energy which is to a certain extent part of the radiant energy um, um, series if you want. And Tesla did provide this information about radiant energy by assuming of um, particles hitting um, the field, but it goes a little bit further than that. And um, Moray did provide some updates about that actually anything around us is radiant. Emanating from the sun can emanate from anything and at the moment we are flooded by a lot of, of, of wireless network or radio and any other of, of, of energy forms, of radio wave forms. They all count as radiant energy if you want. So, but what I'm doing here is I use my own exciter system and I try to um, tune to the correct um, frequency. Frequency here means that my fluorescent bulb is fully illuminated and I try a couple of different variations. So the oscilloscope probe shows you a traditional um, ripple down field or um, a normal um, wave um, form of um, the excited bipolar Tesla coil. I show also that the voltage is exceeding 1.2 kilovolt currently and that is at a distance that means that this aluminium foil just plain as a capacitive um, a field is capable to, to harness so much energy to the ground. That's very important. We are going to the ground. That means we have the potential difference. And you see here the fluctuation of the light um, is based on the irregular um, um, spark um, functionality or the sparking um, properties of the of the uh, spark tubes. So here is this um, available coil I had one of my first uh, tester coils I did build is just uh, for the sake of providing an LCR circuit. That means it will give me properties um, for impedance matching or for tuning the frequency to the right level that the, um, the circulation or the wave circulation within the circuit through the load which is a fluorescent bulb is efficient enough to illuminate it. I tried a couple of other things um, to connect but one major part of it here is that because we are too close to the um, LCR circuit we have a huge impact by touching or by being just close to it we influence the complete circuitry. I use now a fixed value capacitor uh, to excite the system, it has only 60 picofarad, so it's quite low. And you see, it's not it's not enough actually to excite the system. That means my resonant frequency within my LCR circuit is not good enough. So I would switch then back to my air capacitor, which has a value of one nanofarad, which is much higher, almost 20 times higher, and that gives me a wider range and better range to compensate for. Um, the resonance frequency. Also the orientation will make a difference how um, the coil and the air capacitor is aligned. You would see that here you can see now I have almost to the full length uh, um, illumination of the fluorescent bulb. 
I now move the capacitor which increases, as you can see, increases the performance in terms of light output on a fluorescent bulb and the same counts when I move then the coils. So at the moment they are both east to west um, oriented and before they were both south to north oriented. So the capacitor is now east to west and before it was north to west and you see that is the highest energy gain. I will, um, my latest video will inform you about my latest video, that would be very very interesting for you to see where I actually then show after my negative resistance, uh, resistance videos that the ether field or the invisible field is a field we are working with all alternative energy systems and I will provide proof for that. Thank you.